in our lives in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray every walk of the ungodly in any areas of our life as we gather here before you as your children. That they will stand in one accord. Let this walk of the ungodly be aborted in the name of Jesus. That day I pray again. Every walk of the ungodly. That way that have been orchestrated and put together. Against us as one standing before you as your children. We declare and we declare this morning. Let such be aborted in the name of Jesus. Thank you Heavenly Father. In Jesus name we pray. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Good morning once again, church. You are welcome to the presence of the Lord. It's time where we pray for our friends, our families. So let's be on our feet as we pray, as so we in prayer. Praise the Lord. If you have your cards, you can bring it out. If you don't, you can you know, get, reach out to the ushers, they give to you. But you can have their names, their faces in your hearts while we pray for them. Praise God. Say after me. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. I thank you for the grace to know you and serve you. I pray for the salvation of the souls of all unbelievers in my family, among my friends, in our nation, and across the world. Oh, Lord. Just as you saved me and delivered me from darkness, I pray that the conviction power of the Holy Spirit will fall upon my children, my husband, my mother, my brother. Open your mouth and pray that the conviction power of the Holy Spirit will fall upon everyone that you know that has not accepted Christ. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, fall upon every unbelievers. Let them be convicted by your power. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I ask that your conviction power will fall upon every unbelievers in my heart household, your conviction power we fall upon my brother we fall upon my child we fall upon my sisters we fall upon my mother in the name of Jesus that they will be convicted and be drawn to Christ that their soul will not be wasted in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit let your conviction power rest upon every unbelievers in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Say, by the power in the name of Jesus, I destroy every power assigned to keep those ones in darkness. I pray you will have mercy on them. You will bring them to the knowledge of you. And you will give us all the grace to make heaven in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, oh God, my Father. Let every veil of darkness on the hearts of my, you know, mention the person's name. Every veil of darkness on the hearts of my brother, let it be torn apart in the name of Jesus. Every veil of darkness in the hearts of unbelievers that is stopping them from receiving your word, let it be torn apart. Let it be torn to pieces in the name of Jesus. Every veil of darkness, we tear you to pieces this morning. We tear you to pieces by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be torn to pieces. Be torn to pieces in the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Say every gate of hell resisting the gospel of Christ in the heart of my loved ones we destroy by fire. In the name of Jesus be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. In the name of Jesus every gate of hell that is resisting the gospel of Christ Jesus in the hearts of my household, in the hearts of any member of my loved ones we destroy you now. You are destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Gates of hell resisting the salvation of my loved ones. I destroy you now. I destroy you. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
right now you will pray this one for yourself. Because even the Bible said that at the end time that even the very elect might be deceived. So you will pray. You say, oh God, my father, even in these last days, help me not to be deceived. In the name of Jesus, oh God, my Father, even in these last days, no matter what is going on, help me not to be deceived. Help my feet to be firm in you. Let my faith be firm in you. In the name of Jesus, even in these last days, Abba, Father, help me not to be deceived. Help me not to be deceived. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Right now, we pray this for this nation. We say, oh God, my Father every influence of darkness in the place of authority in this nation we unseat you in the name of jesus we unseat you we unseat you in the mighty name of jesus be unseated every influence of darkness be unseated in the name of jesus every seat of darkness be unseated in the name of jesus uh, it's time for testimony um, I'm glad that uh, we've had so many programs lately, and we have a lot of people testifying. Last week, we had six. Uh, today, we have four. Um, before I do the four, I have one that's really big in my heart. I, I want to testify about our choir. You know, there is something that is brewing and is amazing about you guys. You guys are brilliant, committed, and I thank God for you. I'm not sure who to give all the credit to. Maybe to give most of it to Pastor David. Because I see him struggle and try to drag you guys to excellence. And may the Lord God that you're working with and with him together, you guys will go to places. Amen. You guys will sing to kings. Amen. You will be demanded for in the name of Jesus. I love your attitude. Keep it up. Yes. All right. We got... Um, Four testifiers today. Uh, two of them are written in, and then two will come. Uh, Sister uh, Charity, please move forward. And uh, Brother Chris, just you can stand there. I'll read the, uh, the ones that are written in first, and then we'll go from there. And then I'll call the people. Someone, uh, Sister, right, for four months, and I've been experiencing 10 to 15 days of uh, cycle. I thought it was a sign of menopause. I was really. Um, uh, tired experience, but I, I did not, I didn't think it was a spiritual battle. Three months ago, the pastor mentioned irregular cycle is being removed. I said amen, but uh, was not even thinking it was me. However, since the past three months, my cycle has been five days and more. I want to glorify God for this healing. Uh, Sister Esther from UK. Wow. Okay. Uh, the other one, I want to give glory to God for blessing me with a new job after the career breaking prayers. The Lord has increased my total salary. I'm so grateful to him. All glory be unto him. Amen. All right, uh, Brother Chris, you want to come forward? Where is it? Praise the Lord. May the name of the Lord be praised. I'm giving the Lord thanksgiving because God is great. In this life, a lot of things happen. The way I see life, between life and death, is a few minutes. Mm. I was born on 24th, and I didn't die on 24th before God. A fatal accident. But the way God brought me out miraculously, I'm still shocked what happened that day. But I fell down. I don't know how I came out. Even mm. on the windscreen, everything broke. But no bone broke, no fracture. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know how to thank God. And I thank a lot, but because of last program, few, few programs we had, I don't put you to thank God, but I'm thanking God for saving my life. Yes. Thank you, praise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, may the Lord continue to watch over you in Jesus' name. All right, my sister. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. I've just come to testify uh, for the goodness of God in my life. Uh, the Lord has been awesome. I can't even say it all. But this, sometimes it's like, let me come out and say a couple of them. And uh, this one is so striking. 
I added some kind of uh, um, degree to my nursing profession, and then after getting that pro after getting that degree, uh, the, the, prof uh, the, the certificate, it took almost two years, more than two years for me to get a job, and I kept on praying and praying and praying. But Pastor David interceded. Many people interceded. Finally, I got the job. Now the job is here. But then the job came with a lot of demanding. I'm like, what is this? I'm used to working, you know, geriatric bedside nurse. But this one came with really, you have to man about five facilities under you. Before you know it, a computer was sent to me. It's like you're on your own. I'm like, what am I going to do? So what I did first was to bring that computer here in the altar because I believe so much in this altar. I believe that there is power in this altar. So I brought the, uh, the computer over here. I said, God, take over. My badge and everything, God took take over. And I promised God, if I clock six months in this job, I'll come and testify. Today, October, I made it six months. That's why I came over to say, God, thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And the Lord will sustain you there. Thank you. All right, let's just rise up and pray that all these testimonies, that the Lord will pour his blood on them. They will seal them. She will last six years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. She will work out of it into her own business in the name of Jesus. Let's, Father, we thank you for all this testimony. And we ask that your blood be poured upon it in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, let us pray this prayer. It's been kind of pressing in my heart. We've, we're, you know, the Manor World Program we've been doing, the GO has been talking about the next level and are moving forward. And this is the prayer I want to call. Say, Lord, move me to a greener pasture in this land. There is opportunity in America. But let your leading lead me to a green pasture in this land. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Shall be seated, please. Bless Sunday to everyone. Um, I'm going to start today's um, announcement with a powerful blessing from God that he has just added to us, a bouncing baby boy. From the family of Sister Ada. Yeah, we thank God for that. And those that are looking up to the foot of the womb, um, I connect myself to this uh, testimony. You shall give testimony in the name of Jesus. Yeah, um, our Sunday services start by 10 a.m. And our Monday services start by 7 p.m. That's the Bible study. Uh, we encourage every one of us to try and always come. It's always a, a very pleasant uh, time before the Lord when we try to learn about the Bible. Then on Wednesday, our Wednesday service revival starts by 7 p.m. as well. And our online donation, tithes and offering, uh, you can do that from the church website or use Zill. And the Zill is um, MFM, Dallas, Texas, at gmail.com. Then for our project Tabernacle, you can also do that through our website and Zill as well. There's going to be a program next week, Friday, 21st. And um, Saturday, 22nd, October. Um, the Friday is going to be a video. And it's actually themed, I shall get to my promised land. I know we all have been, you know, trying and praying. I believe that day is a big team. So come and pray your way to your promised land. Then on Saturday, it's going to start by 4 p.m. Then again, um, Daddy Gio is going to be around next month, uh, the Prayer City in um, Houston. Some people say Austin, Houston, I don't know, but you know what I mean. So um, it's going to be around um, November 19th and 20th, 2022. So we encourage um, people who want to be there. Um, right now, you can start um, doing your hotel booking because it's all usually very, you know, field to the brain. So you can always have the hotel close to the prayer city. That's why we are announcing now if you want to be there. Then um, the singles deliverance program 
is going to come up on Saturday, November 19th, 2022 by 5 p.m. So you will need to come fasting. Like some singles, you know, like I used to say sometimes, many people love to go to the club. You know, that's not where you find a good husband or a good wife. Then you can always come here and pray your way. Because many people have done so many face changes and everything. That's not going to help you. But you can always come here, pray your way, and I'm sure you will actually find your missing rip in Jesus' name. So, uh, <laughs> I, I, I heard everyone was very excited about our 70 days fasting and prayer. So again, I'm announcing it comes to an end today. That clap was very heavy. I think <laughs> it's like we have all missed our morning food, I think. <laughs> so it's going to come to an end today. Then please don't forget to join our online by 9 p.m. And next week Sunday is going to be a powerful one because we're going to be having our Thanksgiving 70 days Thanksgiving. And that day, you know, we are going to listen to so many kinds of languages. Isoko and some other, you know, to praise the Lord. You know. So all the Yoruba people too and the Igbo, Igbo Kwenu, start preparing the, the songs for next week's Sunday. So everybody's going to come to the altar, give us the song from your dialect tone. And I think it's going to be very wonderful. Pregnant women, please don't forget to see Pastor Mrs. Nick immediately after the service. Then uh, there's going to be a powerful night on um, September, I'm sorry, October 29th, Saturday. It's going to be our award and drama night. I think they say all work and no play makes Jack a door, but we have been working, so we can always come around, sit down and enjoy our drama night and award night. It's going to come up Saturday, October 29th by 4 p.m. Drama group, please wait behind immediately after the service to have a meeting at the children's church over there. Evangelism, you're going to be having a meeting immediately after the service as well. Uh, the business ep expo is coming up soon as well. Forms are available for $25. See Sister Glory and Pastor Edward for that. Then we have always been announcing every Sunday, please remember not to park at the disabled spots, please. So you don't go out and, uh, like I say now, you don't see a different miracle. And your, toe is being, your car is being towed. Then our canceling days. Sometimes you come after the service and people are actually filled up right there. So you can always see Brad Benga to book a... Uh, time with counseling days with the pastor for Tuesdays is going to be from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Then on Thursdays is 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. as well. Then on Saturdays is from 4 p.m. Then pastor is always also available after the service on Wednesdays and Sundays. Then um, we noticed that our church members have not been following our social media platforms. So it's uh, an opportunity to announce to us that we are on Facebook and it's Citadel. If you want to write it down, you can always write it down. It's um, Citadel of Testimony. That's what you're going to browse and you can add that to your friends list. Then on our YouTube channels is MFM Dallas, Texas. Then our, our Instagram is MFM Dallas, Texas. So you can, you can always subscribe, join, so that when we have any live program, you can actually be notified, and you can easily get back to it whenever you want to. I mean, in case you miss a service, you can easily get back to it. Um, for those online, if you would like to get text notifications, please send your name and number to info at mfmdallastexas.com. And if you have testimony... You can always send, use the same as info at mfmdallastexas.com. Then we have um, attendance jobs. They are available at the moment. You can always see Sister Osas immediately after the service. 
Then one more thing, uh, parents, please. Because we announced the last time about our restrooms. Most of the times when it's not being, when you don't go with your children, they get blocked. And uh, the church really spends a lot of money trying to maintain that. You can, if you notice during the anniversary, those toilets over there were blocked. And we really went through a hell before we could get that work on. You understand? Please try and always go to, your, go to the restroom with your children to avoid the blockage. Then we care. The winter is approaching. We are going to be going to downtown to visit the uh, homeless. So if you have winter jackets, shoes for men, women, children, and kids, cardigan, please endeavor to help us out. Let's um, say this prayer one more time. Uh, say, O oh God of Jeshurun, announce it loud like you mean it. Say, O oh God of Jeshurun, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This morning, the choir is going to be presenting a song to you. It's titled, I Will Trust in You. It is not a new song, so if you know the words, please sing along with us. May you be blessed in Jesus' name. You did not create me to worry. You did not create me to fear. But you created me to worship daily, so I'm going to leave it all right here. Help me say it. You did not create me to worry. Oh. You did not create me to fear. But you created 